YouTubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Puppets. Today, joined by Master Dude of Delirium. And today, we're going to be reviewing the first ever Almanac beer on the channel, and we actually have a few of them to review. This is one of their, I don't know if it's a regular release, but it's definitely not one of their sours, uh, which I think are more limited. But this is their uh, Bia de Chocolat, which is a porter on 5.5% brewed with, was it dandelion chocolate or something like that? Yeah, dandelion chocolate from. Place in San Francisco, cluster hops, and then also uh, vanilla beans. What would you call the color on it? Mmm, not pitch black, but very, very dark. Yeah, it's got some reddish notes. Yeah. Kind of tan head. So yeah, creamy head. head. Yeah. Yeah. Cocoa. Cocoa, 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 cocoa. Like, and dark chocolate. Vanilla as well. Yeah, but not. I, I think it's a very well balanced between yeah. uh, chocolate and vanilla. It smells like a dessert type beer. A little bit of a it's dark, really like cocoa. Yeah, a lot of that cocoa punch. It's yeah. really a punch in the face. Mm -hmm. Even though it's made with actual chocolate. And compared to the chocolate beer we had last, Young's Double, this has so much oh, yeah. chocolate. But that was an old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Source. But nice vanilla and one chocolate one. nose. Yeah. It's a nice kind of sweetness to it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Quite bitter. It's like bitter dark chocolate on the flavor, yeah. and but it's thin. It's not the biggest porter in the world. No, no but it, it's, it's not. A, it's just five point five. Yeah. You know? So it's it's got like a thinner mouthfeel, but still kind of almost like that. There's still cocoa, uh, that mm -hmm. bouncy bar um, thing, almost. Yeah, with vanilla, but it's got a lot of like bitterness, mm -hmm. like dark chocolate bitterness on the aftertaste. Really rich, like dark chocolatey flavor, then almost a little burnt kind of flavor as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that? yeah. What are you picking I up? wouldn't say um, the vanilla is that present in the taste, though. No, it's like the chocolate that dominates. Yeah. Definitely that weird. A really heavy dark chocolate mixed with a lot of cocoa. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty good. I just very decent, but nothing. Yeah, nothing exceptional. No. But I really like the dark chocolate flavor. Uh, I'm gonna go 80. It's it's really nice, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. It could have a whole like you know bigger mouthfeel. Yeah. The mouthfeel is definitely the biggest lax yeah, yeah. in this one, so yeah, 80 as well. So guys, that does it for the beer review of the Almanac, or Almanac, not Almanac, Almanac Beer and Chocolate. Definitely let us know what you think of this one if you've had it. That's all, we're going to subscribe, check out the Facebook page and Twitter. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. <laughs> we're going to see you guys in another beer review.